friends, it's Miss Naomi. Today we are back for one of our last weeks of our VP Kids Heroes of the Faith series. If you saw the intro on the big screen in church today, you would have heard that this week our superhero was a girl whose actions led to the changing of history and she didn't even know it. It all starts in a time before Jesus was even born. There was a call from Pharaoh, the leader of Egypt, that there couldn't be any more boy Israelite babies because he heard that one of them was going to become a great king. One mother was afraid for her sweet baby boy and wondered what she could do. She thought for a moment and then decided she would place him in a covered basket that had been, that had been coated on the inside with tar and pitch which, was, which is the sticky stuff from trees, and this made it so that no water could get in to the basket. I imagine she kissed him and prayed over him with all of her might before she placed him in that basket and then placed the basket into the river. When she set the basket into the water with a final goodbye, she told her daughter Miriam to watch the basket to see what would happen to it. Enter our hero. Miriam, the sister of baby Moses, quickly obeyed her mother's instructions and hid in the bushes to keep watch over the basket. She would quietly move through the bushes as the basket floated down the river. After a while of this, watching, waiting, moving, the basket came to a place where the Pharaoh's daughter was. She was there with her maidservants bathing. Miriam was afraid. Moses began to cry. The poor baby had been in this basket a long time and was probably getting cold and hungry. Pharaoh's daughter instructed the servants to go and fetch the basket. Miriam watched from the bushes with fear and trepidation. Pharaoh's daughter scooped up the baby and was not angry at all. She instead cuddled the baby and declared that she would keep him and raise him there in the palace. In those days, um, Many of the Egyptian women did not care for their own babies, but instead they hired a wet nurse to feed and care for the baby. Miriam acted without hesitation. She emerged from the bushes and approached Pharaoh's daughter. I would have been scared to death, but Miriam had God's strength in her. She spoke with confidence. Excuse me, I noticed you found that baby. Do you by any chance need a wet nurse for him? Pharaoh's daughter looked up and said, well, yes, I do. Do you know one? Miriam nodded and ran to get her mother. Moses' mother returned and is, in, as in, and is entrusted to care for Moses, which unbeknownst to Pharaoh's daughter was her very own son. Although the story in and of itself, in and of itself shows quite a lot of bravery, it doesn't stop there. You see the impact Moses had later on is what changed the course of history. Moses was the man who led the Israelites out of slavery and toward the promised land. If Moses had not been saved and then nursed by his own mother, he would not have had the heart for the Israelites that he did, nor would he have been at the right place at the right time to approach Pharaoh and demand that the Israelites be freed from captivity. You see, when we are entrusted with something, it might seem small, but it often is building future trust. The testing to see if we can be responsible in the small things so that later on we can be entrusted with something bigger. For Miriam, she was asked to watch a basket float down the river. She might have wished she could just play with her friends or stay home, but her actions helped to save her brother's life which meant she saved the man who would free her people from captivity. So friends, don't look at the little things that your parents ask you to do now as a bother. Look at them as training for something bigger and greater. Imagine what tasks you may do that might further God's kingdom someday in ways you don't even see now. Well friends, it's time to sign off for another week. Hope you guys are having a great week and we'll see you again next time. Bye.